So, when is the delegation from the Empire to arrive? Uh, they should be here. Well, now, or rather, 20 minutes ago. Figures. Leave it to a dwarf to be slow. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if it turned out to be a calculated diplomatic tactic. Don't let your guard down. Lady Gwen, please. The dwarves are extremely honorable people. They also have the most mind-boggling network of stubborn, self-important clans. Two sides of the same coin. Both annoying. Hush! Someone's coming! <gasps> Could it be? Uh, look, Regal, people! Hi-ho! You the Lorne boy? Uh, yes. I'm Kay of House Lorne. Lord of Ascalia. Are you a part of the Dwarven delegation that we were supposed to meet? Delegation? Wait, you don't know? I don't understand. The Emperor himself wrote that today we would be getting aid for the city. Where are the reinforcements? Reinforcements? You're looking at him. What? You've got to be kidding me. This... Nope, just me. Huh. Think he's strong, Griffith? Um, well... Strong? <laughs> Missy, do you think all the emperors are born armed and dangerous? Who do you think taught them, huh? Um, considering the phrasing of your question, you? <laughs> That's right. Three generations of imperial diapers and chicken pox. And yeah, sometimes swords. If what you are saying is true, then you must be quite an accomplished individual indeed. Also goddamn old. You were saying? Nothing of import, Master Dwarf. Mifune. My name is Mifune. I was born to the Dragonfly Clan. I don't remember when. Way too long ago. Look it up in a book if you need. I don't care. Now, pup, now that we've exchanged some initial confusion, would you be so kind to show this old man his quarters? Ah, certainly. Please follow me. Is he really the best the Emperor had to offer? And this is the main room which I'm sure you're familiar with already. From here, you can get to the armory, the kitchens, and the guest rooms. I see. So far, the inspection has proven rather satisfactory. Inspection? Technically, you are still a foreign state. As an agent of Lordemar, it is my duty to keep a close eye on any possible threats. You consider us a threat? That's not what I said at all. It's just a standard procedure, really. With that in mind, would it be problematic if I took a peek at the armory? Not at all. Let's go. Hmm. I see it's being kept in excellent condition. It's all Griffith, honestly. He's the kind of man who really loves to polish his spear. <laughs> Is that so? That came out wrong. Just a little bit. You would be amazed by what is deemed acceptable by the official protocol. Ah, and I assume you are the fabled Lord Azaleus Castor Levant. We haven't been properly introduced yet, have we? Play nice, Levant, please. I am Henrietta Von Hart, agent of the Mystere, envoy to the Revelators. I hail from Lordemar just like you do. Ha! There is no kinship between us, assumed or otherwise. I can already tell we will get along famously. Hmm. Regardless, I've seen enough. I think we can safely conclude the trip. I'm at your disposal, Lord Lauren. Welcome aboard, Lady Hart. I shall head upstairs for now. I need to conclude my initial report. She is a spy. Excuse me? You have invited a spy of another monarch into your ranks, but why? The wench holds no love for you or your kingdom. It's called diplomacy. She's an ambassador. Uh, same thing, different name. Let's just let her be, okay?
Yes! This is enough. Greetings! I do not understand. Yes! <sighs> I am a scientist. I'm glad to hear that. Oh. Are you all right? I'm old. I'm allowed to be irreverent. Proceed. <laughs> Unacceptable. Quite understandable. Excellent. Thank you for your time.
Greetings. Acceptable. Most fortuitous. I'm glad to hear that. The age of conquests is over, Lord Lauren. The politics of old are dead and gone. Nobody really wants to play war anymore. And rightly so. It's just not profitable. Excellent. Okay. Quite understandable. I'm old, I'm a I'm old, I'm alive. Ah! Okay. All right, you. Okay. <laughs> All right, you. Greetings. <laughs> Always more tests to.
meetings. Always more tests to... Yes! Oh, science! Yes! Now, where was I? Speak up! <laughs> All right, you! What? <laughs> what? Don't think, feel, go with the flow. <laughs> All bull crap and bullshit, oh. Happily dispensed by terrible fighters and con men. <laughs> Acceptable.
<laughs> Acceptable. Hello there. Greetings. For the love of... Proceed. Most fortuitous. Excellent. We need to talk. Sure. How sad. I disagree. I ho Good I ho Sure I need to kill a guy
Nope. Okay. Ha! Well... Thanks, Pop. <laughs> Hello, esteemed customer. Magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grateful. Ah. Uh. Masterful. <laughs> Always more tests to run. Ooh. Hey. Oh, it didn't work. Okay. Huh? Thank you. I'm grateful! Say hello, Heinrich!
What? Faulty. Ah. Always more tests to run. Okay. What? Science! Ah, excellent.
We have arrived. Seems pretty peaceful to me. Perhaps the tales of all the supposed shenanigans were exaggerated. Well, here's our answer. Shall we, Griffith? Always. Human intruders. Bold move to come here after what you've done. Tell me, cowardly one. Will you return our oars? Or will there be blood? No, I'm lord of these lands and... Wait, what are you talking about? Words! No words. Turn away, manling, or I will gut you like the pig that you are. Please, I just want to know what's going on. On my honor, I promise that House Lorne will neither harm nor disturb you. Our subjects claim that you've been harassing their livestock. All I want is some answers. Lorne? That's me, K of House Lorne. Lorne, you wear a familiar name, manling. But the Anam knows not of you. What mask lies upon thee? Huh? Amusing. Very well. Let us play. Hold on to your mask. We shall, in turn, don the masks of gracious hosts. You've come for answers, brain fever. Then answers you will get. Follow. They're here. Good. We are... I know who you are, Manly. You came to talk, so do not waste your breath on prattle. The Coterie will hear you out, as our guests. I didn't mean to offend, I just wanted to know why you were harassing the villagers. The Gull! What kind of question is that? Our hands are tied, and your cohorts are the force that tied them. Please, explain. The Coterie was never intended to linger in these woods for long. Our sights were set elsewhere, far beyond the eyes of Lysos orphans. Initially, we merely set up a temporary camp to replenish supplies. Yet before we could get back on the boat, some fat, useless, nitwit subject of yours decided to steal our oars. Wait, that's it? A villager stole your oars? But why? And where are they now? The Coterie does not know. Until they are found, we are grounded. The Anam grows restless. Until now, we have kept our peace, merely raiding for food. But we tire of inaction. The tribute for insolence will be paid in blood. Yeah, uh, well... If we seek out and return those oars to you, will you leave in peace? Hmm. Will you? Yes, that would be acceptable. After all, we owe something to the Loren name. What do you mean? A story for another time. Very well. Then we shall depart. The eyes of the Coterie shall be upon you, Brain Fever. Play your role well. Uh, brain Fever?
Guys! Guys! All right, you. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this shit. Are you all right? Oh. I'm sorry, Heihachi. Wherever you are, I hope you're not too mad. Gonna get you right back to the Field of Blades, don't you worry.
Hey! Eh. I'm glad to hear that.
All right, I've sent for you because we need to talk. Your leader told me that the elves became a nuisance suddenly and without provocation. But apparently, you haven't told me the whole truth. What happened to their oars? Oh, that... Oars? I wasn't there. Oars? Well... It clearly didn't happen. But I vaguely remember that they were moved. Well... Uh, yeah, we kind of did. But why would you steal their stuff? Now they're unable to leave. It was self-defense. They'd attack us otherwise! We needed a sacrifice. Sacrifice? There's this rock in the woods, yeah? West of the grove, people say it's magic. That it is alive, and Grant's wishes. My grandpa says it fell from the sky, it did! So we gotta give things to it and sing and dance and do stuff, you know, so that it may bless us, yeah? What? Oh, yeah, and we maybe may have given them oars to the rock, you know, so that it would destroy them elves before they could do harm. So you stole their oars and hoped that they would go away. That's right, miss. And you haven't thought that taking their oars would make them unable to go away? Uh... Again, what? Hey, don't blame us! We did all we could! Yeah, you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs, you know? Flawless logic. Never mind the fact that you gave the oars to a rock. Yeah, you know, folks have been doing it for quite some time. It's always been this way, so we figured, hey, why not? And it worked! The rock conjured up monsters! But they attacked us instead, so it kind of also didn't work, no? The monsters, the elves, everyone got all pissed and huffy, and then... And then you came to us. Yep. So, you gonna get those elves or what? Gods, what a mess. Maz. Understatement of the century. This is bat crap crazy. Honestly, I get mind blown that something as utterly stupid and nonsensical as this ever happened. All right, people, we'll handle this. Meeting adjourned. Yeah, cool. People of the Unity, roll out. What do we do now? What can we do? We go after the oars and after the... Rock. Seriously, what the hell? Okay. On my honor. What? Have at thee. Ah. What the hell? Well, young master... Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Griffith? That the rock did not seem overtly evil? Yep, exactly what I was thinking. These monsters just happen to be nesting nearby. It was, in fact, a regular rock after all. What on earth were we thinking? Rocks dispensing curses? <laughs> Additionally, I would like to point out that the oars are nowhere to be seen. At least, at first glance. Right, the oars. Sweep the surroundings! And nothing. I can't believe it. The oars are not here, Griffith. But why? Unless... Perhaps the rock really is magical. 
No, it's not. Let's not delve into that silliness. The question is, what happened to them? Or rather, how will we be able to placate the elves now? Conflict seems imminent. Just what we needed. More elven coteries to antagonize. I think we should talk to the Unity on this matter. What will you tell them? I don't know. Something? Anything? This is their business as much as ours. Let's go. Again, everyone. We really need to talk. Again? This is getting annoying. My feet hurt. We're listening. So we went to the grove and destroyed the rock. What? Why would you do that? We're doomed. What will we do now? The rock is gone. Told you we should have hanged him. I did. <laughs> now, now, calm down. What about the elves? Are they gone? That's the thing. We managed to fend off the monsters, which happened to be completely unrelated to the problem at hand, but that's slightly beyond the point. And we haven't found the ores. Are you sure you left them by the rock? Course we did! I'm not dumb, you know! Hey, guys, I'm confused. Does it mean the elves are still around? Oh, right. Good question. So the elves are still around, huh? They are, but they haven't made a move yet. I promise we'll try our best to find the ores. Bah. Useless! The old rulers would just kill them all like in the good old days! <laughs> well, I'd like to remind you that this whole problem is kind of your fault. You shouldn't have stolen those ores. Self-defense? It was self-defense. You're our king! You should do something about it! Do something! But... They're right. We wanted you to resolve this thing, not muddle it up. <sighs> oh, whatever. You tried, I guess. Maybe the situation is still salvageable. So, lads, any ideas? What should we ask him to do next? Get out. I I'm sorry, what? I've had enough. It is clear to me now that to you, this is nothing but a clever self-serving scheme, regardless of the cost. Does all of this mean nothing to you? This is your past too. Are our efforts just a convenient way to get around something that you, yourself, should have done a long, long time ago? Now just you wait, boyo. Get out! You want to pose threats to me and my family? Well, I will play your games no more. Be gone from my sight! All right, all right. You'll regret this, you. Okay. Yeah? Just so you know, I'm so goddamn proud of you right now. And so the hour comes, brain fever. What? Why are you here? Did I not tell you that the coterie would be watching? The kith grow weary of waiting. The anam demands blood. Have you fulfilled your end of the bargain? As we witnessed, your subjects did not provide much use. I don't know what to tell you. Despite our best efforts, we couldn't find the ores. Good. So blood it will be. Wait! Uh, Master Ondoris? What? What's that thing you're carrying? Ah, these. Just some ores I found by some rock in the forest. Ugly things. But who knows? Maybe they'll be worth something to someone. Why? You wanna buy them? I could cut you a deal. Well... So are we settled? You'll leave us in peace? Aye. <laughs> what a surprising turn of events, my brain fever. One more thing. Before back in the grove, you mentioned your coterie owing something to the Lorne name? Yes, that is true. But if you're searching for roots, this may prove to be a card that you should not uncover. What do you mean? You've no doubt heard the tale of the Crusades. A time when House Lorne died. 
buried with their city-state of Ascalia. But truth is rarely simple or singular. How much do you really know? Just the bare minimum, I'm afraid. Many tetrids ago, the then Lord Martell of House Lauren invited our coterie to his court. What? Why? Why, he had come to us with a proposal, and we agreed. He wanted us to stay with him forever. What? He was a weak ruler and a weak man, one in desperate need of guidance. He wanted us. He needed us. And so he called out to the knight, and the kith answered. He surrendered his will, and we filled the cracks. But it was not by our hand that the tide of atrocities began. With our help, he said, he would become something more. A kith. A mere man. Lysos orphan, calling himself a kith. Ha! Truly the mark of madness. Men and kith, sun and moon, day and night. Two paths never meant to converge. As the word spread, human lords, men of Shadu, men of Lordemar, grew afraid. A foothold for the kith in the heart of human lands? They were afraid. Then, one by one, came the diplomatic incidents. And so, in an unprecedented move, your history's two mortal enemies banded together against House Lauren. Your people know this event as the Crusades. Your land burned. The city was turned to ash. The kith were overpowered. And the mad King Martell, our plaything and benefactor, was eliminated. I can't believe it. House Lauren. My family. Responsible for these Crusades? All the destruction and suffering? Because of one loony guy? So speak the histories of the world, my brain fever. <sighs> this is a bit much to take in, but thank you nevertheless. No debts between us remain now, manling. May we one day meet on the field of battle. <laughs> Let me offer you one final bit of advice. Do not fight for a legacy that you should not be part of. What? Huh? I'll get you a mention in the book for this. That's awesome! Awesome! Thanks, Pop. Well... Oh...
Let's see. Way to go. <laughs> News has come in. Apparently, Miss Addie's little committee didn't expect that sudden show of backbone. It doesn't seem like the Unity is going to bother us anytime soon. We will finally be able to move on to some more productive activities. Fewer circuses, more bread, that kind of thing. There's no telling if Crucy won't crank up the pace again. What's the word on the ancestral treasure thing? Sadly, nothing new. The trail's gone completely cold. And the summer estate? Ellie sent another batch of inquiries. The dragon had mentioned Aralan, so that's where we pulled first. Just so you know, that's a whole other web of extravagant connections. Tracing one dependency after another, we've managed to dig up an interesting lead. A lead? We received word of a certain interesting painting being exhibited in Armalisse at Pinacoteca da Candelaria, and the curator was kind enough to part with it. This... this sounds like a pricey agreement. <sighs> but what is one more bill in the shambling pile of terribleness? Now. Hmm. Well, I think it would be prudent just to show it to you. That's it? That's the painting? Yep. And it tells us... what, exactly? If you just stay quiet for a fraction of a second. Now, the painting shows a sea landscape as seen from some unspecified island vantage. It's not an imaginary piece of terrain either. See this? The shoreline matches with the Argent Coast, a region on the border of Rashtil and Armalisse. So what, you may ask? Well, I'd like to draw your attention to this little stamp here. That's the symbol of House Lauren! Indeed it is. The painter's signature, or so I was told. But that means... That the painter was Lauren, in all likelihood. And we have a name. Fallon Galar Lauren, the prince in chambers. An unfulfilled artist and an infamous recluse. Brother to the king. A man who never took permanent residence in Ascalia. I see. You're saying that he painted this from the Lauren Summer Estate. Naturally, it's a stretch. A cute piece of conjecture, even. But the elements fit. With Crucy going into overload, we don't really have the luxury to ignore this. But we also have no guarantee that the treasure is there. Nope. Regardless, Argent Coast it is. Griffith? Sire. Let's move. Now, aren't you forgetting about something, kiddos? Uh... Or objectives! Ah! Before you rush out seeking white rabbits, hear me out. Okay, that's all. Shoo! Yes! <sighs> okay. Yes! Oh, 
always more tests to run. Thank you enough. How sad. Okay. Excellent. Wow. Hey. Hi, ho. Good. Remember when I said that the Emperor puts great hopes in you? I wasn't joking back then. Hell, these days, it's almost everything he ever writes about.
I'm glad to hear that. Sure. Good. Shall we? Always more tests to run. Oh, science! Excellent. Greetings. I'm glad to hear that. Despite all the terrible historical reasons for hate and mistrust, time and time again you've proven a steadfast ally to the Kingdom of Lordemar. And a good friend. Thank you for that. Hello there. Nah. Holy ho. Henry thanks you, friend. Always more tests to run. All oh, science!
Ah, excellent. Great! Ah, excellent. Have at thee. Splendid. Yes? I think I need a moment. Thank you. I shall take my leave then. Okay. Ah, excellent. Splendid. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Okay, thank you. Always more tests to run. Oh, science! Euphoria! All thanks to you, my friend.
Thank you. <laughs> I do not understand. Oh, for the love of... No. Now hold on. Let me unfasten the straps. Oh, here it goes. The duckling approaches. Just so. Hey. These settlements of stone and wood are confusing. A rare kindness. The ancestors are with us! Okay. As stone is she? Hey. 
Boulder by the minute! Right, right! Well... I'm gonna need a drink. Wait, what? Speak, and I shall listen. Greatness! I'm an expert at everything you can think of. I can do... I'll respectfully disagree.
What? No. <laughs> Watch your tone. What? Huh? Oh, for the love of... day yeah sure hey yeah sure See ya. Speak, and I shall listen. Great! <laughs> okay...
We are in agreement. <sighs> no. Such pain upon the soul. Huh? Hey there. Way to go. Okay. Why me? Really, young master? By gods, thank you! Thank you a hundred times! Huh? 